These are my thoughts on the numbers from 0 to 100, so please enjoy. Zero is a very abstract number to me. I mean, if you had a number line that included every number that existed, decimals, negatives, everything, you'd find that there's no highest number or lowest number, but zero is the exact midpoint on a number line. Is it possible for something to have no starting point or ending point but a defining center point? My mind is blown. The simplicity of one makes it the most confusing number. When it's written like this, you can clearly tell it's a 1, but when you take away that base and hook, it could be a lowercase l and uppercase i, or this punctuation mark, lord knows what that's supposed to be. 2 is a very important number to me, because after I become married, that's how many children I plan to have. There was a time in my youth where 4 was the messiah and 3 was the devil. My little brain believed 4 was the perfect amount for anything to come in. Plus, Ma warned me that my eyes would turn into triangles if I sat too close to the television, and I hated anything that came in 3, so that was the end of that bad habit. Nowadays, I've come to tolerate 3, and I lost my love for 4. It, it's just not big enough to me anymore. Sorry, bud. You're still a good number for elements, in my opinion. It was a very similar case with 5 and 6. But 5 was more irksome for little Robert, because it was one more and one less than two of my favorite numbers at the time. I mellowed to 5 in my later years, but 6 will always surpass it. I was head over heels for 7 when I was in my 7 deadly sins phase, and even after that phase ended, I still like 7 a lot. Like 6, it's just a perfect small amount in terms of odd numbers. I've got no problems with 8, in fact that's how many styles there are in my world of animation. However, when I count to 10, a part of me gets a little nervous when I reach 8. Perhaps it's because I associate 10 with a big finish, and as we count to the numbers that are much closer to 10, we start to pronounce them like that big finish is only seconds away, and I'm not really a fan of big surprises or loud celebrations, but that's just me. Still a decent number. I had quite a change of mind when it came to 9. In my childhood, it was a frustrating digit that was always just one away from a perfect 10. But as I became more appreciative of the perfect square numbers, 9 became a more acclaimed number in my book. At least when it's on its own. Time has been rather unkind to my opinion on 10, developing from one of my favorite even numbers to a number I don't hate, but have no love for anymore. I used to loathe 11 for the same reasons I loathed 9. Not helping was the fact that K, the 11th letter of the alphabet, was also my least favorite letter. The way it sounded always annoyed me. But even if I don't admire it the way I admire 9 nowadays, my opinion on 11 has changed mostly for the better. The extra 1 after 10 now acts as that cherry on top of an ice cream sundae, making it feel more complete to me. 12 is awesome! It tops that sundae off with rainbow sprinkles. It's divisible by 4 consecutive factors, it's evenly divisible by 6, and many of my favorite things come in 12s. Piano keys, zodiac signs, Chinese zodiac signs, gemstones, and the 12 days of Christmas. The fact that all the numbers before it lead up to 12 helps me appreciate them just a little bit more. This is one rad number. 13 has made quite a legacy for itself. It's probably the most famous number within its range, with how often people associate it with luck, for better or worse. I myself am alright with 13, just as long as it stays away from a Friday. But there are plenty of other numbers that surpass it. I like 14 the same way I like 7. Just double the love. 15 just never sat right with me. It was simultaneously unsatisfying and bland. 16 gets some brownie points for being a perfect square. Unfortunately, it too became a less favorable number as time went on. 17 just exists. And that's the nicest thing I can say about it. I've come to appreciate 18 for a few reasons. For one, R is the 18th letter of the alphabet, and R is for Robert. Also, Redonkulous Race is my favorite total drama season, and it has 18 teams of competitors. It's also my current age, and I can safely say I've been having a pretty darn good year. 19 is the worst! I was always put off by the fact that it was just one more than 18 and one less than 20, but as much as I abominate this number, I still had one positive experience with it. As of today, the most popular video on my channel is my cover-up of Dumb Ways to Die. Thank you all very much for making this happen, by the way. And upon looking back at the numerical order in which these animations were uploaded, Dumb Ways to Die was the 19th upload! Much to my surprise, and slight disappointment. That one positive moment aside, this number is a demon through and through. When my admiration for 10 died down, 20 was a number that took its place as a definitive number divisible by 10. I feel like as I get older, I crave larger numbers, and 20 is plenty. Also, if I hadn't been such a stubborn infant, 20 would have been part of my birth date. But by the time I was finally brought out of my ma's belly, it was past midnight. So 21 became part of my birth date instead. And I think I like that better because it's divisible by 7, and I'm a sucker for numbers divisible by 7. 
there's just something so satisfying about numbers like 22 that have the same digit throughout. You can switch their places however you want, but no matter what you do, it will always be 22. This satisfaction extends towards the rest of the numbers like this, so from here on out, I'll be referring to them as Groovy Tooies. I've got no guff of 23, but with all the more likable numbers surrounding it, 23 is neutral at best. 24 and 25 are both credible for me because they're the star-stealing days in December, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I initially preferred 24 because Christmas Eve has more of that one day till Christmas excitement, but 25 makes up for that by being a perfect square. So, I like both of these numbers equally. 